I'm not a fan of neck bands because I feel they kind of suffocate your neck and they wrap around your neck and the days of snake charmers are lost and gone but when I noticed the new boat rocker sell at just 400 rupees in one of the recent Mintra sales I was like I love neck bands Hey everyone Mukul here well I have tried a couple of earphones and headphones from boat in the past but I never really liked them uh, yes, they are quite affordable and for the price most of their stuff is quite okay. But when I saw the flash sale of these Boat Rockers 260 for just 400 rupees, I thought, uh, I mean, well, this can't be that bad. So the Rockers, uh, Rockers, Rockers 260 came in a pretty minimalistic packaging and inside you get uh, three different sized earbuds and the neckband. There's also a catalog with a few actors and artists I care the least about. And a very short USB-C charging cable which I'm pretty sure most of us will never ever use. And as always I found the medium sized birds to be the most comfortable and apt for my ears. In terms of comfort for the dimensions of my ears, I would rate these to about 5 or 6 out of 10. The earbuds are pretty lightweight so inside the ears you might not feel them to be terribly uncomfortable. But the material quality of these ear cushions is pretty average. The material of the neckband is pretty soft and quite easily flexible. But the part where the buttons and the battery are and the other stuff is, well that part of the neckband is pretty bulky. I mean you might be someone who might have already adapted to the weight of uh, such neckbands on your shoulders. But personally I am pretty exhausted of the weight of life in itself. That I could have lived without this extra weight on my shoulders. But it's a neckband so the weight will be always there I guess. The buttons are of average quality too. They feel very cheap. Double tapping the center button enables the Google Assistant and triple tapping it enables the low latency beast mode uh, which I will discuss ahead. The earbuds also magnetically stick to each other so you may not lose them that easily. The neckband also supports dual pairing which worked great and flawlessly uh, for something in this price segment. Uh, I mean I was quite surprised and pretty impressed. The rest of the buttons increase or decrease the volume of the sad songs you listen to in your sad life. The wire which connects to the earbuds is also of average quality but I really can't claim them to be bad or anything. I mean for a price of 800 rupees neck band uh, they are just fine the wire quality is just okay and for the price I got them for I would say the quality of the cable is superb. The battery backup is excellent in even after using them for one to two hours daily for about a week uh, there was still about 25% of battery left on the neck band uh, as reported by my android phone. And I guess you won't be using this on an iPhone because if you own an iPhone and you are buying these cheap neckbands then what the hell is wrong with you? Charging them was pretty quick and Boat calls its fast charging as ASAP charging. And yes I could charge from 40 to 80% in just about 15 minutes which was definitely impressive for a Bluetooth neckband to do in this price segment. So when I first paired them up and started listening to them in case when I was not listening to anything and I had the neckband attached to my Android phone. Well, there was always a slight constant buzz of some sort of interference on these uh, which of course can get extremely irritating when you don't have something being played uh, on the neckband and you still have the earbuds inside your ears. But when you're watching something or any sort of music is being played on them then this weird interfering buzz isn't that noticeable but I'm pretty sure it's still there or it just kind of mutes itself. This flaw definitely clears that the maximum retail price which boats imprints on the boxes of neck bands like these is a major bluff and how bad their quality actually is. I mean for the price of 400-500 rupees no one should have any issue with the, these but if you're paying 800 rupees or 900 rupees or 1000 rupees for something like this then I would consider this to be a major flaw. But to be honest they don't sound terrible for the kind of consumers these are being targeted towards. And I'm saying that because this neck band loves to throw as much bass as it can uh, throughout all the frequencies. So that means uh, the low bass rumbles are ample and if I am a consumer who just wants that then I would be pretty much satisfied with it. But if you are a consumer who wants any sort of clarity or a balanced sort of sound signature from these neckband then I would say you are extremely over expecting from something with this price segment. These punchy low bass rumbles are present even on the vocals and hence they might sound super punchy and to be honest to some of you it might sound quite satisfying especially if you are someone who is used to such sort of sound signature which is extremely warm and bass heavy but if you listen to a lot of professional podcasts where the host really uses these super professional microphones then that heavy voice processing through the drivers of this neck band might sound even more heavy 
and all of that will make your ears get crushed under all the warmth of all these heavy sounds this might produce in similar sort of scenario. So yeah, that shiny clarity is definitely a miss on these because of their warm and bassy nature. And due to this, genres like rock might not sound as sharp as you would like them to be. But if you are into soundtracks with beats in them like pop or hip hop and trance even, then you might just like listening to these. Due to their boomy and bassy nature, uh, I would say they will be able to produce satisfying sound even inside of helmets when you are driving a bike, uh, which is not safe at all. So I'm not sure why am I even pointing this. I have no idea who listens to music on their bikes with earphones in their ears. Not me. But the neckband does get sufficiently loud and I mostly listen to them at 50 or 60% of the volume at most of the times. The mic also behaves decently good too, which of course is a trait for many neckbands. Okay, this is how the microphone will sound when I have absolutely no noise around me. And I am on a, a Wi-Fi call from one phone to the another. And this is how the mic will perform when there is some sort of noise around me. I'm pretty close to the noise and uh, as you can listen, there is a lot of uh, people's noise and traffic noise. Okay, now here's where things get really ugly for the Rockers 260. On the product page, they clearly claim that in the beast mode, the latency reduces to as low as 55 ms, which is an impressive number to read on a Bluetooth neckband. But in my testing in the normal mode, the latency is as high as 450 ms. And in beast mode, the latency is still as high as 280 ms which is definitely nowhere near to the claimed 55 ms low latency boat claims on the product page and this is probably why even in a few of the videos i watched on youtube the lip to audio sync was totally off in most many of the scenarios not most of the scenarios but in like many times i noticed that and many a times i had to tap forward or back just to fix this bug or issue whatever it is but whenever i was watching videos in the beast mode no such issue was incurring at least vis visibly or noticeably so I will most definitely suggest you to always keep the beast mode on unless and until you're listening to music and you're not watching any sort of content on the screen with this neckband uh, in your ears. So yeah, if you are into any sort of competitive mobile gaming, then this neckband is truly not for you. I have tested a few Bluetooth earphones in the past and their default latency range to somewhere around 200 ms and they never claim that they are gaming truly wireless earbuds or earphones or anything of that sort. But on the Rockers 260, even in their so-called beast mode, uh, seeing a latency of around 280 to 300 ms, well, uh, to be honest, it really disappoints me regarding how sometimes some of these brands, they falsely claim for a feature which is never present on a product. Of course, in gaming, as the main sound signature of the neckband is bass with some more bass on it, uh, everything is going to sound punchy and stuff. But you really can't trust these with footsteps and their timing around you as you play a game like Battlegrounds or anything similar. But you know what, if I have to conclude this video on a note, I would say if your priority isn't gaming, then I would still suggest you this neckband because the kind of features it offers for this crazy price uh, segment and board also gives you one year of warranty with the neckband. So yeah, it's a no brainer if you are able to get it for 500, 600 or even 700 bucks, let's say, then it could be a good buy, a good purchase. But if your priority is gaming on these, then yeah, don't fall into the trap. Don't get lured to their bluff when they say that the beast mode is supposed to help you in gaming because that number is definitely not reachable in terms of latency, uh, at least on this neckband I tested. So I hope this review was helpful to you and your friends and your family and your relatives. You can also hop onto a Discord server for more chit chat on relevant content. Stay safe humans, that's all for today. Mewbot with no phony beast mode off.